Hi to the LogSeq community, MichaelJohnson.tv here. I'm really enjoying being on the Discord and on the forum and playing with LogSeq. I've been using it for maybe a year or less now, and I feel like I'm really getting into a flow and building up a workflow in the way that works for me, which is awesome. I just, I love this tool, the simplicity, but also building elements here. So I wanna share with you how I'm using it to manage these visual effects, basically. Um, so I use this program called Touch Designer. It's a kind of a node-based uh, workflow for doing visual effects and controls and big installations, big performances, stuff like that. I'm starting very, very gently just with taking some pictures and some videos and making effects on top of them. So what I've built up now is a hierarchy uh, in Touch Designer. And so all of these pages have Touch Designer slash a title of the effect. So this is the touch designer slash noise edge detect effect. And I'll go to that page to show you what the page looks like. And I have a template now. So I have a slash template for touch designer project. And what that does is it only right now, it gives me these three properties, file location, snippet, and nodes. And so the file location, I put in a code block and I just put, I'm using Windows exclusively, basically, for Touch Designer. Don't really use my Mac much anymore, so I'm okay with just like having direct links in Windows. And what I do then to open the file is I copy, I hit Windows R, Control V, Enter. And then it opens the program, the Touch Designer program. And I get this link from Shift, right click in the Explorer window on the file name, copy as path. That's how I roll. There's many probably other ways to do it. I find this is just simple and I can just copy the code block and paste it into Windows uh, to run. Now the snippet is basically a GIF file. You'll see it's a GIF. So the program Touch Designer has a way to uh, record your output. I just record a short snippet as a GIF and then I, I'm awesome. Like LogSeq can show you a GIF and it loops. So you can see, just get a feel for what that effect is doing. And then the other uh, thing I have in the properties is the nodes. So I typically take a screenshot and copy it in here. So this shows you roughly the node flow of this particular effect. It's a noise with an edge detect, take a difference, run it through a feedback, do some compositing and record my video out. And I can update this as I go. And ideally what I would have here is a kind of like a section that would be like brainstorm and a section that would be like log and then I would say like, you know, time, um, I would say, or I would say like today slash time. Ah! <laughs> Recorded short message, right? Um, and so that's how I roll. So then the great thing that I'm starting to discover now, a year after starting to use LogSeq, I'm, Log I'm using these namespaces, the hierarchy, touch designer hierarchy. So I can then come back down here and click here on the hierarchy, which takes me to the touch designer page that I showed you earlier, where I've added my query. I query for namespace touch designer, and you could use other queries. There's many different ways to do queries, but all that I want from this query is the page title and the snippet and a little bit of info on when it was updated. So this is awesome. I can just come here and say, okay, what do I have in my archive? What do I have as visual sort of, you know, elements that I can use? Where am I on these projects? So I can just come and scroll down and I've got all of my little visuals that I've created along with the page, when I worked on it, when it was created. This is awesome. Like this is really great. So I'm using this for both these touch designer and I'm also using it for my energy sketch, uh, which is a kind of podcast video cast. So what I do there is I search and I have a property for series energy sketch. And again, on each page of the energy sketch podcast, here you can see it. I have the series, the status, the description. I have a thumbnail, a graphic here. That's a sort of a thumbnail that I would use on YouTube. The same thumbnail that I have on YouTube, I have in my LogSeq so that I can come down here and I can have a graphical query. 
This query page shows me the, the episode number, the page name, and the thumbnail. So it's awesome to just get my energy back up and just scroll down. Hey, look at what I created. I made all of these. And it's great to have this reference in LogSeq, and I'm just building it up. So that's the workflow of how I use LogSeq for snippets of visual effects. And I've been really having fun with LogSeq. Thanks so much for everyone in the community. See you soon. Bye.